come back to the next video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna focus more on what we're doing uh, as a school district to ensure the safety of students uh, when they're on site. And so in, in particular, we're gonna focus on student behaviors. We know that school safety is a community effort. It has to be all of us. It can't be the principal's job. It can't be just the teacher's job. It's gotta be the parent's job as well. It's gotta be the student's job. So all four of us working together, we can create that safe learning environment. What you're gonna see this year is you're gonna see teaching and reteaching. Anytime that some, we're out of balance with what our non-negotiable behaviors are, um, we're gonna reteach those. In fact, I was in a classroom here the last couple of days where they were going through what we call our non-negotiables. Um, these are the things we're gonna focus on this year uh, for student behaviors and adult behaviors, um, both. So make sure that we're, keep, we're staying on track. We have what we call a, a tiered approach of interventions for students for student behaviors. So we're really focusing on our, our tier one and that's our well-managed classroom. So all of our teachers have been trained in well-managed classroom and that, those are basically your rules and procedures every single day in your classroom. Um, the key to that though is that consistency from classroom to classroom. Some of the things that we're really focusing on this year is um, accepting criticisms or consequences and being able to accept no for an answer. It's not personal, it's about getting better. When we talk about the criticism piece, it's about getting better at what we do and becoming a, a better learner. Um, it, it's critiquing the work so we so we can ensure that the student continues to grow as a learner. And, and, and uh, being able to accept no as an answer, we know that there are rules and boundaries and sometimes when we're told no, just like when we were younger, we have to know what we can and what we cannot do. Also, we're gonna talk about um, the proper way to ask for help. And this is probably more of a focus at the elementary level, but it still applies middle school and high school. But how do I best ask for help, okay? Um, do I shout the teacher's name? Do I, do I make loud noises? You know, what do I do in the classroom to seek that attention? Asking permission and following instructions. Uh, we're asking students, and again, these are real simple rules, um, but it seems like some of those things have gone by the wayside. So asking permission, may I go to the bathroom? Not, I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, may I get a drink of water? I'm gonna go get a, versus I'm going to go get a drink of water. It's about how we use our words to, to uh, get what we want um, and to work with the teacher. When, you, when, you're, when you're dealing with that student behavior piece, the thing we're really gonna focus on this year is um, consistency and equity. So nobody gets treated any different. Um, the consequences might be a little more severe this year because we feel like that students need to know the boundaries on, on how far they can go with their behavior. And they have to be respectful of adults. They have to be respectful of each other. Um, if they can be respectful to each other. Learning's gonna go that much more smoother for them because they're gonna be engaged in the classroom. Um, they're gonna be more responsible. Um, and when they're respectful and responsible, they're gonna notice the safety around them has improved as well.